Hi, I'm Dr. Altman. I'm here with the Juggling Group 2. This is the Tardy Brothers, Matt and Jason. And they're professional jugglers. They're awesome. You should see them sometime. My name is Matthew Tardy, and I am a professional juggler. My name is Jason Tardy, and I'm also a professional juggler. And we're going to be talking about the center of mass. Objects move around their center of mass. And the parabolic trajectory across the path is predictable, uh, easily calculated with mathematics. Apparently the club has this, this oblong motion. It looks much more complicated, the motion of the club, and so it's much trickier to juggle. In fact, the club rotates around something called the center of mass, and the center of mass follows the exact same trajectory as the ball follows. And the club is also rotating around its own center of mass. However, the predictable pattern or trajectory of the club is exactly the same as it is for the balls. Just harder to grab a hold of. <laughs> However, they throw axes back and forth. Now the axe, the center of mass, the center of its weight, the balance point, is almost at the very end here. So when this rotates, again, the center of mass follows the parabolic trajectory. However, the handle has to swing a great deal of distance, and the head a short bit of distance. So this is going to look a lot more impressive looking, and it'll be a lot harder to do. Plus, one end of it, real sharp. Avoid this part. All right, now I'm going to juggle something less dangerous, but the same kind of principle. There's a large mass at one end, an equally distributed mass through here, and the center of mass would be, the balance point would be right here. And so if I were to try this, oh yeah, I could do it. Oh yeah, watch your face. <laughs> That's more dangerous than the axe. I bet you it is. Let's go for double. Nice. I have skills. <laughs> you could be a plumber. <laughs> I like the line, that was great. Now this item really illustrates center of mass. It's a, got a weight on either end of it, and it's a uniformly constructed wooden dowel. A little bit of tape on one end, so one end would have just a little bit more weight than the other, but not really appreciable. So this rotates around its center of mass. The center of mass, the center of its balance point. And that is going to follow the parabolic trajectory through the air. While the stick rotates around its center of mass, these are awesome. More rotation. This is the exact same thing, except with a slight addition. Instead of a nice, safe rubber stopper that they put on this end, on this end, there's a, a spike with a bunch of spiky things coming out of it. Little steel, giant steel ball right up there. Actually, it's rubber. Let's not tell anybody. <laughs> but the nails aren't. They're real nails. As opposed to those imaginary nails. <laughs> so the center of balance, the center of mass of this would be much closer to the heavier end. If you were to weigh the rotational torque from this end, it would have to balance the rotational torque from this end to keep it from rotating. The center of balance. And so it's right about here. So as this flies through the air, that will follow the parabolic trajectory while the rest of it rotates around that point. Oh yeah! So if you study physics, you can juggle too. It's easy, isn't it, guys? Sure, sure. <laughs> Is that really
Obi-Wan. I'll do this real quick. You can easily find the center of mass with a lightsaber using the same technique. Don't